so Gooby and I are just sitting out here on the porch waiting for the trunk train to come by. Uh, it's been by, I believe, every Sunday for the past three Sundays, so we assume it will be coming by today. And we just, even though it's a very small trunk train, we just like to show our support. If they're going to go to the trouble to drive up and down the streets, we're going to be out there giving them a thumbs up and waving at them. So, um, Matt stopped by for a little weekend visit, and uh, we've enjoyed being with him, and just uh, enjoy family time off camera, you know. And uh, I went to bed early last night, but he and his dad stayed up quite late chatting, and I think that's great. Uh, he's had Riley with him here, and Riley and Gooby get along tremendously. Uh, Riley is a good inside and outside dog so it's always nice when he comes to visit what are you talking about well tell me about it is it about the trunk train coming no do you see a bird across the street you hear Matt Matt is cleaning out his vehicle and uh, rearranging so that's what Gooby is hearing. And uh, it's a beautiful day here. It's not cool anymore. It's uh, already warming up again. We did have one cool day with rain, and we stayed inside that day. Um, George is catching up on the news, I think, waiting for the Trump parade to come by. And uh, we watched Jason's Coffee with the Crockers this morning. Oh. He was encouraging people to live their dreams, and uh, he gave us a compliment. Talking about his dad working hard and doing the cement work and everything, and uh, my character Melody. He talked about that. I enjoy doing that. I think that's a lot of fun. And uh, just in case there are any people watching today that have watched the Melody videos. And if you happen to be from Atmore, Alabama, or anywhere in that general vicinity, I hope you know that uh, I am not making fun of my upbringing. I am embracing it. And um, so I always just try to get a shout out to Atmore, Alabama, because that was my home. And when I talk differently than I do right now, when I melody, it's just natural. It is natural, it's not making fun of anybody, so I hope that anybody that happens to watch from my hometown never takes offense to Melody. I think Melody and Joe Bob might be coming back on again soon, so that would give y'all something to look forward to. <laughs> and, um, what else, Goob? You got anything to talk about? No? always like to wave to anybody that rides by our house. Chances are I know them, just don't recognize the car or them. So certainly don't want to be considered a snob. Just because I can't see and don't know who they are, so I wave to everybody. <laughs> well, can you think of anything else to say, Gooby? Can you tell the people anything? You always talk to Dad on camera, man. You never have our chats. You hear the neighbor dog barking. Alrighty then. Well, I guess we'll get off because we'll have nothing to talk about. So, I hope you guys have a great day. And we'll see you later.
He's a fat little thing. Oh, wow. Hey, hey. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Good grief. <gasps> wow. Hey. Crazy, stupid. Go hey, hey, don't you go up there, Sorry. Button Sarge. Bye. What's the matter with him, honey? <gasps> he needs to be set in his place. Sarge says he wants to get out of here. Ready. Gee, honey, he's violent. Yeah, it's trying to. Did they all go out? <laughs> yeah, it's he and. Yeah, I know. He and Badger trying because to. Because of Grandma. I mean, not Grandma, that's what Jason says. Because of what's her name? She's real skittish. She never is. And look how white she is. I think she's pregnant, though. Yeah, that's what I told Dad. Give me a daisy egg. Come on, baby. I, I agree. Some loud pecking. on top of that chicken. Was there 
still food in there? Mm. It's on the bottom. Brandy looks like she might be pregnant too. Wait, I thought the white one disappeared. It was the full black, the black one. Watch out, Matt. Buddy's behind you. Don't let that go, but y'all. Yeah, she's on the other side of the fence. Mm. Uh-uh, don't, you gotta stay now. don't think about it. Just drumstick. Yeah, I don't want to look and I don't want to see and I don't want to know. Oh, I want to go out too. <laughs> what were you saying? Come back to what? Pick up what? What's the plan with all this hay? Straw. Hay. I'm just putting this in here. In case the dogs get a little chilly, they can come wrap up in there, up, up there. It smells good. So, just thought I'm gonna get a little bit of little hay. You can get in there, boy. Get in there. Go in. Y'all get in there. 
I was always scared of them things. As long as you don't grab them, they're not gonna bite you or anything. You, I would, I say. <laughs> it just keeps thinking it's climbing higher. <laughs> called a dung bug. Not dung. That's a poop beetle. This is a dumb walking stick bug. <laughs> it's an odd looking creature, isn't it? It is. Sometimes you can't tell which, if it's coming or going. This part. Oh, that last rain we got was a little over a half an inch. I didn't think we got that much, but I guess we did. It's pretty good. This is what we needed. I and mean, then we needed that rain. Yeah, all the flowers start to double bloom again. They were falling off making beans. You're trying to get the beans? Mm -hmm. 